Hey, what's going on everyone? In this video, I'm going to show you how you can install IP Vanish on your Amazon Fire Stick or Amazon Fire TV. And if you are looking to get started with IP Vanish, I do have a massive discount link down below in the video description. Let's get started. So as you can see guys, I'm over here on my Amazon Fire TV Stick dashboard. So I'm just going to show you guys how you can quickly download and install IP Vanish, adjust some of the settings, and towards the end of the video, I'm going to connect to a different location and watch geoblocked content on Netflix. So to get started, I want to go to the navigation menu, go over to the left hand side, and simply start typing in IP Vanish. So I'll just start doing that one, IP Vanish. And as you can see guys, it comes up as a recommended app. So I'll click on this one. And mine might look a little bit different to yours as I already have IP Vanish downloaded and installed. However, if you don't, there'll be a little yellow circle. So you just want to go and click on that one and then we'll start downloading IP Vanish onto your device. So once you've done that, you can then open up the app. And as I've already logged into my account, it's opening me to the screen. However, if you don't have an IP Vanish account, you can check the link down below in the video description and this will open you in a new tab. And from there, you can select your desired plan. And once you've done that, you'll have your username and password. So you just want to simply insert that in and then this will bring you to the screen. So this is the IP Vanish user interface. It does seem a little bit overwhelming to begin with, but once you do use the app for a couple of minutes, it's actually quite simple um, to get used to. So on the left hand side, we have our current location. And if I want to go and connect, I can click on this button and this will automatically connect me to the fastest server closest to my location. So this is perfect if you do plan on using it for watching third party apps. And on the left hand side, we also have the country, the city and also the server as well. So if you're looking to start using IP Vanish, you actually can start using it right away as it's ready to use straight out of the box. However, if you are looking to adjust some further settings, you can do that by going over to the gear icon on the top right hand corner. Click on that one. And right here we have a few settings which we can adjust, um, such as startup IP Vanish, startup connection action, auto reconnect, allow LAN access, split tunneling, scramble, and a few others as well. So if you are looking for more control over IP Vanish, you can see all of that in the settings tab. So once I have that set up, I now have the option to go and connect to a certain location, which I can select right here. So I'll pick country. And right here, guys, we have many different locations that we can connect to. However, in this video, I want to go and watch the American version of Netflix. So I'll go and select the United States. And if I want to go into further settings, I can go to the city. And as you can see, guys, we've got many cities to pick from. Los Angeles, Miami, New Orleans, and heaps of others. However, I'm just going to leave this on best available. So I'll click on that one. And I also have the option of picking an individual server as well. So as you can see guys, there's many to pick from. However, again, I'm just going to pick best available. And now I can go ahead and press connect. And this will automatically connect me to the fastest server on the IP Vanish network. And once we start seeing these kind of green waves, this just notifies me that I am now connected and my entire Amazon Fire TV stick is also connected as well. So I can go back to the home page of the uh, Fire Stick so from here, I can start to watch third party apps and my IP address will be completely hidden from my internet service provider. However, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can watch the different versions of Netflix. So before I go and open up Netflix, the first thing I want to do is close the application and then relaunch it. So that's easily done by going to the navigation menu, go over to settings and then go to applications and then go to manage installed applications. And then I want to go all the way down to Netflix. And then I want to go to four stop and then launch application. So the main reason that we do this is much like when you use a desktop computer or a smartphone, sometimes you have to close it and then relaunch it. So you can see that particular platform you're trying to access. So this is now taking me to my account and I'll now be on the American version of Netflix. So just to show you guys this, I'll now go and search for a particular TV show that isn't available in my location, uh, which is Parks and Recreation. And this is one of my personal favorites. So I'll just go and type in Parks and Recreation. And as you can see guys, I now have access to this particular TV show. 
And if I scroll down, this will also uncover other TV shows and movies that aren't available in my location. Um, so I've got The Office, uh, The Ring, Criminal Minds, and this is really only scratching the surface as to what you can find on all the different versions of Netflix. So what I'm going to do now is go play a little bit of this TV show in real time as I really want to show you guys that IP Vanish is actually working for unblocking Netflix and also to share with you some of the speeds. So I'll click on this one. I'll press play. And again guys, this will be in real time. And from my own experience, IP Vanish takes around between 5 and 20 seconds to get started. And this can depend on how many people are on the server, the time of day you're trying to connect, and a few other factors as well. And as you can see guys, that took around 15 seconds to get going and this is now working with no issues whatsoever. So as you can see guys, it's very simple to get started with IP Vanish on the Amazon Fire TV Stick. And again, if you are looking to get started with them, don't forget to check out the massive discount link down below in the video description. So hopefully this video on how to install IP Vanish on your Amazon Fire TV Stick has been helpful. If I've missed anything or if you guys want to see anything else, please comment down below as I'll be more than happy to help you out. So as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.